This tutorial is for our friend Simon, who's Cornish, and he can't get any Cornish pasties. Nightmare. I'm not Cornish, but I married a Cornish woman. So by default, I make awesome pasties. Dizzy or dead tutorials. Do you want me, do you want me lower? No, no, it's good. Okay, we've got some veg, onion, poutats, turnip, beef. I've got my assistant Plague. She's gonna be overseeing. First up, Peely, 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 peely. These are gonna be taste delicious. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, that's a lot of onion. Okay, we've got our onion, we've got a potato. We're doing turnip next. Uh, we're doing carrots. Oh, 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 oh. Don't put carrot in a Cornish pasty. What are you, mental? Right, turnips. I like to cut them with the plastic on. Vegetables. Vegetables and uh, fruit, they can't look after themselves in nature. They've got to be wrapped. So first thing, peel your turnip. Easy. Next up, we're going to chop the veg. We're chopping veg. We're not chopping veg. Really? We've got like whole potatoes here. We've got to chop them up. Pass the uh, turnip thing. We're not putting them in all. This is a traditional Cornish. Cornish needs beef, I'm afraid. There we go. Probably don't need all of it. Really? To make our uh, pastry, I've got this thing. I've got these things. Easy. So, flour, uh, pastry. <laughs> Going very well. Uh, a little bit of flour on your surface. Make sure you cover everything with flour because this stuff is going to go and stick to everything. Play, get off the meat. That's a 10 inch circle, maybe. Plaguey, get off the meat. We're going to put everything in here, then we're going to bring it over. Crim, 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 crim. Plaguey. No. Quarter of my onion. Slicing the potatoes straight into the pasty. Oh, that's a lot. Turnip. Is this the right amount? It looks like tons now. It's on here. I mean, it's a whole meal. You want you want it full. I haven't even got the meat in it yet. Whew, it's a lot of effort. It's massive. Have I put too much in? Onions, potato, parsnip, turnip, some kind of snip. We're gonna add some butter, we're gonna add the beef, and then we're gonna crimp. We don't want all the meat in one place, do we? That would be a disaster. Knob of butter, that's important. A good, a good bit of salt and pepper on there, oh yeah. Bit of sushi salt and Percy pepper, oh lovely. And now for the main event, we're coming to the crimping. Fold it. Are trying to go. Okay, crimping. There is a technique for this, which I'll share with you now. <laughs> Twist and crimp. I like to go for a more abstract design than your your average Cornish. And when you get to the end, you want to you do a nice nobble for the knockers, and we're going to brush it with some whisked egg. I'm going to eat egg. Okay, here we go. Onto the tray we go. That. Be beautiful. As you can see, I've made three more, so I'm gonna milk them, shove them in the oven. Went for a different design on this one. It's almost like it was made by a different person. Simon, I did make four of these, but um, there's a problem with the post office. Um, there's been a siege. Um, no, one, no one's, no one's made it. But after your tutorial. But now you can make your own. Dizzy, your dead tutorial.